angry guy here, and women are finding their dating options diminishing as password bros find their options skyrocketing. Women are finding their dating options diminishing as password bros find their options skyrocketing. We're going to be looking at a video today where it basically shows us how things are changing for the password bros as well as for women as they're entering into their 30s. And they discover that the options that they had when they were 20 something are just not the same when they are in their 30s. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Thank you. Come again. I don't date men born after 1980. This is it. It's not up for discussion. I'm not going to sit down with somebody. I'm born in 1987. I'm so glad I'm not your target, ma'am. And have him tell me, I want you to wear sweatpants and come play video games with me for our first date. No, that's like the equivalent of me being like, I want you to come over and let me put makeup on you and fake lashes. What are we doing here? Like, no, I'm not, I'm not. This isn't up for discussion. Like, guys born after 1980, there's something off. Like, they'll drive two hours and 30 minutes to, like, go fishing with their buddies, but they will not drive 15 minutes to go have lunch with a girl who will potentially do you-know-what for them. Yes, because nowadays men have realized that women aren't worth it anymore. You're all looking for traditional men, not gamers, not guys that go fishing. You want the gentleman, the traditional man, but you're no longer traditional women. So what does that guy get out of it? What? So, yeah, I'm good with that. If you're born before 1980, hit me up. I'm telling you guys, it is so discouraging being single sometimes because it's like, like, especially on here, the pool of people and men that I see. Everything from just like super shallow, who super misogynistic view women in horrible ways that's the problem if we tell women the truth we are called misogynist just because i'm trying to tell other men how women are women's nature doesn't mean i'm a misogynist i have a girlfriend i don't hate women um view relationships is transactional it's just so upsetting Huh. That's funny, because relationships were transactional, always, always. Hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, it was always transactional. Um. You've been watching The Notebook too much, ma'am. Are there any good people left? I mean, I know there are, but it just, there's just like, not that many. I just like start to feel like I'm losing all my faith in humanity. Really? So everything that you see on the news, everything that the left does, doesn't make you lose hope. But the dating scene does. Interesting, interesting, really interesting. I don't know. I've been told my whole life that I need to get like a thicker skin. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I've tried, I've tried really hard to get like a thicker skin, but my skin is so thin. Yes, ma'am. We all know women are more emotional and as hard as you will try, you can't be more logical. You will still remain emotional. That's why you make TikToks videos like this. Uh, I don't like this. All of this awfulness just like really affects me. I uh, just hate it. Can anyone like show me something good or positive or kind or thoughtful or with morals and integrity?
By the way, guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Turn on notifications never miss another video again. And like the video because it tells YouTube you like my content, you want to see more of it, and YouTube will show you more. Guys, if you notice here, these women want transactional relations. These women are saying that they don't like transactional relationships, and yet what they are looking for, what they are offering, is essentially transactional. Sadly, though, most modern women want soft girl lives, which is... Nobody talks about the fact that when you're done healing, it's nearly impossible to date because you see red flags in everybody. You see so many things that you're not willing to compromise because you actually trust your intuition and you can see when things are an issue. Seeing the red flags is a good thing. That avoids you from a lot of headaches. I don't get it. Why is seeing the red flags a bad thing? It's crazy. Most of these women want soft girl lives. They don't want to cook. They don't want to clean. They don't want to actually have, they don't want to offer anything in a relationship. But it's literally, you know, something out of the princess diaries. They think that they're going to put on a tiara and a long gown, you know, and they're going to live in a mansion or live in a castle. And they're going to have servants and you know, all their meals will be provided for them. They won't actually have to provide for themselves or take care of themselves in any way. They're going to live soft girl lives where they can go out while someone else works and they can hang out with their friends and then go. Dr and it's interesting because not even their friends are able to live these lives, but they're all dreaming of this. And it's 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 just it's it's unbelievable, but that's the modern day modern world we live in, and it's not even it's like you know you get married, and it's not so much when you think about it. For example, you go overseas and you 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 marry a Filipina, and the Filipina understands that it's like you don't even have to look at it as transactional. It is, but you don't look at it as transactional because the Filipina understands well. We have to build a family together, okay? So the man is going to do the work. He's going to he's going to earn the money, and he's going to complete his manly duties, right? But we're working together. We are working together to build a unit. And the woman, she's going to cook. She's going to clean. She's going to maintain the house. She's going to rear the children. And what they're doing is they're it's a business. They're building a they're building a family together, and they understand this, and it's it's different. But in a in in the West, modern women, modern women, they cannot seem to comprehend this because it's like, it's they don't understand that you're building something together. What they think is that you're supposed to basically provide everything for them, and just because they're there, and every so often, maybe they'll be intimate with you. That ultimately means that, you know, that's their contribution to the to the relationship. Every so often, they're intimate. They might be intimate with you, and simply because of their presence, simply because they're in the relationship with you, you know, that that's 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 all the utility that it, that that's needed. Because in fact, they really don't believe that they should have to bring any actual utility to the relationship. They want traditional men. It's crazy. Modern women want traditional men, but they are not traditional women, and they cannot comprehend this. And the thing is, when men tell them the truth and they tell them the way that it is, that's when they basically are very, they get very upset. And it's it's the truth is that women cannot handle the truth. Modern women cannot handle the truth, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that their better years are behind them. And now they can't face what they've done. And that's the reason why they're all turning to Jesus. They're turning to Jesus. And now they say, Jesus this and Jesus that. And don't forget, in another video, don't forget that I posted a video where a woman literally said that she has a message from Jesus, from God, for the passport bros, where she condemned the passport bros and she, and she condemned them in the name of God. God told her to come and condemn the passport bros. Now, uh, guys, if we are not winning, I don't know what else we're doing because we are winning. 
and I warned you about the church. I told you so many of these these ladies are going to head to the church and they're going to be in the church. And I told you the church was compromised. And y'all, some of y'all were, were not listening. Now you have them telling us that God came to them. God has come to them and told them that the passport bros are not good guys and that and they're gonna and God is gonna touch them. God is God is gonna punish each and every single one of us for what we are doing because we know what we're doing is wrong. We know we have no business leaving, leaving, leaving our leaving the West and getting off those fields and finding greener pastures. We know we're wrong for doing this. And God, there is going to be a visitation upon us. And, and we are going to feel that visitation from God because there now will be consequences for it. Guys, I told you, I told you they're gonna turn, they're turning, they're turning, they're running into the church. They're running into the church and they're trying to use everything they can to control our minds, to control how we think and how we respond. And you have to say, no, I'm not gonna let that happen. All right. You have to be awake. You cannot be asleep because right now you have a lot of these people. I'm born again. God has washed it away. God has washed away my sins. And now I am made brand new in Jesus, brand new in Jesus. Right. So 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 you so you've never been with anyone. No, 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 no. I am pure. I am 100 percent pure. Everything is intact. And then lo and behold, you go. find. Come on. You're not telling the truth. Oh God, well, Jesus washed it away and he made me whole again. And everything is, and that old person is gone. You know, Laquisha is gone and now you're talking to Linda. No, 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 you're still Laquisha. You're still Laquisha. I don't know who told you you could change your name. You're still Laquisha. Guys, this is what, this is what I'm warning y'all. And some of y'all, you'll fall for it. Because because be real, many of y'all, you're not going to church. You already know that something was wrong with the church a long time ago. You're going there for community and entertainment. All right? Because a lot of the things that are happening there is entertaining. When you see the crazy things happening in the church, you go in there, you just fold your arms, and you just want to listen and watch and observe all the all the nonsense going on in that place. And I told y'all to so stay out of there. That's the devil's den. You are safer you are safer in a brothel than you are in the church because everyone in the brothel knows what they're doing there. I know what I'm doing there. She knows what she's doing there. You both know what you're doing there. And once you and, and once once and once your business is done, that's it. In the church, it's never over. It's a continual period, it's a continuous extraction. 10%. 10%. Guys, this it's a tax. It's a tax, all right? And, a way, and if you try to ask them about it, think about it. Jesus, what Jesus, Jesus, he paid the price for our sins. So as a result of that, we don't make sacrifices anymore because he, he was he served as the ultimate sacrifice. So, so think about that. He wiped away our sins from the beginning, from, from before he was here to, 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 to after. So from, from the from the from the beginning of time to the end. So we don't need to make sacrifices anymore. All right. And yet we give this, we're supposed to give 10%. And if you speak to the church about it, they'll tell you it's not a sacrifice. It's a it's a joyous gift. It is it's not even a gift. It's a it's it's God's money. Okay, it's God's money, really. So it's a sacrifice. No, it's not a sacrifice. It belongs to God. So you can't, okay, well, I thought that's what sacrifices were. We're supposed to give this because God has done for the us, done so much for us, and we have to show respect, respect to him. So isn't that also showing respect by giving him the giving him the tithe? It's different. It belongs to him. You do not talk about it, you do not ask about it. It's God's money, and it is not, it is not negotiable. And so I can't ask where's how you how y'all spending it. That's not you don't need to worry about that. All right, you don't worry about that. God sees that you that you, God sees, and don't worry about that. Okay, don't ask us any questions either because it's really none of your business. All right, and you don't want the wrath to fall upon you, so you better pay what you owe and mind your damn business. But it's my money; it is not your money. And we went over that a moment ago. All right, and if you don't, and if you don't want, if you don't want bad things to happen to you, your tires start going out. Your wife don't come to the your wife. Things start happening when you're in your marriage, and you're not getting along with your wife. Suddenly, your children aren't respecting you. You're having problems at work. That's because you're not paying your tithe. 
All right. So stop arguing with me and give and 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 give God his money. How? Oh, so wait a minute. I'm giving. So when I give it the money to you, I'm giving it to God. That's correct. So that mean that would mean that you are God. We do God's work and we are men of God. So you could see the say that we're intermediaries, really. So I have to go through you to get to God. We work for God. Okay. Now stop asking questions and pay your and pay your tithe. All right. Stop asking, guys. This is a scam. Just like soft girl era, it's a scam. It's a scam. Ten percent of your paycheck. And let, and by the way, what am I supposed to pay it on? Am I supposed to pay it on the net or on the gross? If you truly love Jesus, you pay it on the gross. But that doesn't make any sense. That's money I never even received. You pay it on the gross if you truly love Jesus. What? What? Guys, wake up and understand. All right. Understand that this is the reason why women are finding their dating options diminishing as password bros find their options skyrocketing because the password bros are walking away. They see that they saw what it was and they got out while the going was good. And modern day women, they don't seem to realize a lot of them that they don't have those, those same options anymore for a couple of reasons. One, they're no longer in their 20s. Two, men have, a lot of men have woken up and they see the world for what it is and they are not falling trapped to it. They're not going to allow themselves to fall into the same traps that their fathers fell into and their forefathers fell into. It's not going to happen. Are you looking for a Christian Filipina partner who shares your faith and values? If so, you should check out Christian Filipina, the most trusted dating site for men and women who want to find love and marriage in the Philippines. Christian Filipina has helped thousands of couples meet and start their journey together. You can join for free and browse through thousands of profiles of beautiful and sincere Filipinas who are ready to connect with you. Click the link below in my description and sign up today using my special affiliate code. You won't regret it. Guys. Women are finding their dating options diminishing as password bros find their options skyrocketing. What do you think about this and the attitude of modern women where they want to live soft girl lives? They want traditional men, but they don't want to be traditional women. What do you think about this? Let's talk about it more in the comments. You know what I think? I want to hear what you think. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away. And cheers.